all right guys so we popped into the furniture store this is rooms to go and they're actually having a uh, fourth of july sale i am where well, we are currently looking for uh, new sofas for the businesses so i want a new sofa at the salon and i actually want a new sofa for our family room but i'm tr i'm trying to stay focused and focus on <laughs> just the sofa for the uh, salon so i really like that kind of mustard color golden color it was really comfortable the size that i wanted but i decided to browse around a little bit more to see what else i can see this sofa was on sale too but it was sold i think this was the last one that they had in store i think you got like the sofa the ottoman the chair for like twelve hundred dollars i believe i think i've even seen this one another time but that was a good deal for whoever purchased that but i'm gonna browse around and uh see what else i can come across so um let's see what they have
Good morning, y'all. What's up? Let me slide y'all back a little bit. Welcome back to another video. <laughs> I'm about to, I was about to head out the house, and um, I'm not sure how much vlogging I'll get done today. So I was like, let me just pop in, speak to y'all, check in, see how y'all doing today. I'm about to head to the post office to drop off some HD Central packages. So if you've ordered a package, it is getting delivered today. Should be to you within the next two days. Thank you for your orders. I appreciate it, okay? Um, I'm about to go to the post office and then I'll be heading to a meeting that I have to go to. I have a banana here. I've taken my vitamins. Had some water this morning. I hadn't had breakfast though. So I'll probably just eat this banana, drink some water, and grab lunch afterwards. Um, yeah, that's probably what I'll do. But um, today is a good day. I had a great day yesterday, chilling with Mr. Allen. We got a lot of housework done. We have been trying to clean out and clear out some paperwork. So we purchased like a burn barrel to just burn a lot of paperwork. Um, it felt really good burning that stuff because a lot of it was just like old bills and trash mail. So I'm like, yeah, that felt really good. So I got that done. Um, just trying to get our office together because honestly, it has become just like a storage, like storing everything that doesn't have a home yet. So we're trying to get things in their proper place. So that's what we were doing yesterday. On top of, we chill, caught up on, um, well, I caught up on some TV, and what else I did? I baked a cake. I baked a chocolate cake yesterday. Um, I have not iced it yet, so I'll probably, I just wrapped it up in uh, saran wrap and have it in the fridge, so I'll probably, when I get back home this evening, um, ice that chocolate cake. I was hoping to get it iced, that way I'll have it out of the way, but that's okay. Um, what else been popping around here? What else? What else? Oh, I got a lot of deep cleaning done. I cleaned out my, um, my oven. I was able to, um, uh, sweep vacuum, mop the floor. So, cleaned out my refrigerator. Um, so I felt very accomplished by doing those things. I'm not sure if you've, I recorded a video. I'm not sure if you've seen that yet, but um if you have hopefully it'll be motivation for you to get some things done around your home but um i was really nervous about that oven cleaner but it worked perfectly i think because it was my first time using it and i felt like i have to i had to clean and clean so many times but i baked in it cooked in it or whatever baked in it and everything was fine so um what else I think that's it, y'all. Um, mm, oh, a storm just hit. I seen where a storm just hit Texas. So, any of my Texas family, I am praying for you all. I actually have some relatives there um, that are out of power right now. So, I'm praying that they get the power restored. We're praying no lies were lost um, and things are restored back to normal. But, yeah, Hurricane Barrel hit Texas. Um, and I was praying that it just dissipated and but I think when it got back in the water the heat of that of the water made it pick back up um, so yeah definitely praying for anybody who was or is in the path of that storm so yeah I'm not gonna talk y'all too much I think that's all that I have going on I have this meeting and I'm not sure if I'll do anything else today or not i had i've been pushing off and pushing off my massage i hadn't got my massage yet so i don't know when that's gonna happen but this meeting came up so i needed to get this done so we'll see hopefully maybe next week <laughs> i don't know but um i'm gonna go i'm gonna eat my banana i might fix me some coffee before i leave out i might but um, i'm gonna go i'll see y'all a little bit later okay hopefully you're having an amazing day um, if you're not, command your day to be amazing, command it to be great. That's what I plan to do, and I'll talk to y'all later.
I'm just popping to show y'all my triple chocolate cake that I made. I'm so proud. Check me out. I'm trying to get better and better at icing these cakes, but I'm trying. I used my tool that my friend gave me, the cake mama. She gave me this tool right here. So basically, I used this in, and I just kind of went around the cake with it. And I'm gonna, I evened out my top layer, so I plan to put some cake crumbles on top. That's normally what I do. Normally the whole cake looks kind of like this. But I decided to try to get a little fancy this time. I think I did pretty good. At least I'm proud. I like it. I know it tastes good. It's delicious. So I was just popping in to show y'all. Before I put my crumbles on there, I'm going to put the crumbles on there and then put it in the refrigerator for now. I'm about to head out, so I'll just pop it in to show y'all this. I'll show y'all the finished results when I put the crumble on there too, so. have to be your biggest fan and when things are really tough and they're really rough and nothing's working but there's something inside of you that says I just have to follow that because you don't know who you're gonna be who you're gonna be who you're gonna be Thank you. 
So guys, I'm about to cook some dinner. I already got some water started for some rice, some white rice that I'm about to make. And then these are all of my other ingredients. I am about to make some chicken and rice. So I have some boneless, skinless chicken thighs here. I got some seasoned blend, like some peppers, onions, celery. Then I have all of my seasonings here that I'm going to use. So I'm going to try to do this as simple as possible. Put everything in this pan here. I'm going to boil my seat, boil my chicken in this pan and then add my rice once I get done. So let me get my chicken cleaned up and ready and I'll pick y'all back up when it's time to get my pot going. Alright, I got my chicken all cleaned and got the fat cut off of it. I'm going to start with some olive oil here in my pan. And I already have my pan heating up. So what I'm going to do is basically put my onions and peppers in here. My onions, peppers, and my celery. I'm going to add that to my pan. And of course you just add as much or as little as you like. Okay, put about that much. Then... I'm gonna go ahead and get my seasonings popped open. I have chicken bouillon here, some garlic powder, some paprika, some complete seasoning. I got some, a little bit of nature seasoning. I'm gonna use the rest of that. And then I have some Creole seasoning here, okay? So basically what I'm going to be doing is Adding my uh, chicken in here, my water, and seasoning my water, kind of making a, a chicken stock, but it all inside this one pan. And once my chicken gets gets done, I'll shred my chicken, and then I'll go in and add my other ingredients. So I'm going to add in my chicken, and I'm using boneless, skinless chicken thighs. My goal is to just have all the flavor in this one, one pan, okay? Okay, so now I'm going to just season everything up. This is a little bit of nature season that I got left. I actually just came from the store and grabbed another one of those. It's one of my favorite seasonings. That's my complete seasoning. This is my garlic powder. This is my paprika. I didn't need to put that much, but hey. <laughs> I might as well use it this long too. I actually just picked up some more of that. Then I'm going to go in with my Creole. A little chicken bouillon. And next things next, I'm going to add my water. And I'm going to cover this up and let this do its thing for the next probably 
45 minutes to an hour until my chicken is done. And while this cooks, I'm gonna finish my rice up and I'll pick y'all back up when my water is boiling, okay? All right, my uh, chicken has come to a boil. While I got this chicken boiling, I decided to, I had three sweet potatoes left over that I needed to cook before they went bad. So I decided to make some roasted sweet potatoes um, just to have as a snack or whatever the case may be. So y'all know I love to cut up vegetables, so I'm gonna show y'all what I'll be doing to these sweet potatoes. So here are the sweet potatoes here, and I just kind of cut them in chunks. I love, love, love like roasted vegetables. Um, so what I'm gonna do is, the same thing I normally do to my roasted vegetables, I'm gonna drizzle some olive oil, and then I'm just gonna go in and season them. And these are gonna be more so savory roasted potatoes. So I'm gonna go in with a little garlic powder, some complete seasoning, and some Creole seasoning. And that's all that I'm going to add on these potatoes. And what I do is just cover them with foil, let them roast off until they're uh, tender, which probably takes about, with the minute sized chunks, probably takes about 30 minutes. And then um, they'll be done, ready to serve. So these are my sweet potatoes. I wanted to pop in and show you my rice. This is my rice. It is ready. I like to bring my rice to a boil and then I turn off the heat because it's going to still be cooking in this hot, hot water. So this is my rice for when my chicken gets ready. All right, y'all. So at this point, my chicken is completely done. What I decided to do was just kind of shred my chicken while it was inside of the pot. I didn't sometimes you can, you know, take it out, put it on a plate, shred it up, chop it up. But to make it easy, let's clean up. I decided to just break it up inside of this pot. It had boiled to the point where it was just that tender and easy to do that. Then I'm going to take my can of cream of chicken, add this to the pan. I ended up adding two cans of cream of chicken to it. Just kind of get this mixed all in and it's going to create like this gravy uh, type consistency and it just adds that flavor to the broth um, sometimes I take some of the broth out but I decided to keep it all in here this time it just really depends on how thin or how thick you want your your gravy to be now I decided to not add my rice to this I decided to just keep my rice on the side and just you know put my rice in a bowl or on a plate and then add my um, chicken and gravy mixture on top so you can do uh, both you can either leave it separated like I I did tonight or you can mix your rice inside of this pot and just combine it all together that's just like a personal preference but uh, pretty much after I added my cream of chicken I had added enough seasoning when I seasoned my broth that I didn't have to re-season this at all all I added was some parsley and it was up to par as far as the flavor just the way that it is so if you season it to taste pretty much once you get to this point you won't have to add any more seasoning but if so it's okay you can always just add a little bit of you know whatever you feel like it's missing based on your taste buds so this is it y'all the dish is complete just that easy just that simple um chicken and rice so this was really quick but really filling and delicious so this is our dinner for tonight
Oh, 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 oh,